So I kind of went through the law of sines in another video, so if you need to see a longer, kind of more uh, detailed explanation of how to do the law of sines, I'd recommend checking out the intro video. Uh, but I'm going to go through this a lot quicker uh, than the intro video because hopefully you remember the law of sines and have an idea of how to do it. Uh, so first thing I like to do is label all my sides here. So it says specifically side AC, but when using the law of sines, um, we have to match up the sides of the angles. And again, you would know that angle A opens up the side A. So let me just write side A. Angle B opens up the side B, and angle C opens down the side C down here. All right. Uh, in this case, I need to actually find angle C because I have 91 and 48, and all angles inside of a triangle add up to be 180. Uh, so 91 plus 48 is 139. 139 minus 180 would give me 41 degrees? Yes. Okay, so I know that angle. And now, looking at my triangle, using the law of sines, I need to know that an angle has... I need to know an angle and a side that both match up. So both C, angle C and side C match up. So that means I can do sine of 41 over 23. All right, if my goal is to find side AC, which is this side right here. Okay, let's use angle B. Okay, so that's going to get me to where I need to go faster. So sine of 48 degrees, because that's angle B, and side B we don't know yet. All right, so sine of 41, 0.6561 over 23 equals sine of 48, 0.7431 over B. All right, you cross multiply, beautiful butterfly. And that's going to give me 0.6561 b equals 0 0.7431 times 23, which is 17.0913. To get b by itself, it's 6561. We divide, and then that's going to be b equals 26.04, which, again, the 4 keeps the 0 there, so I'm just going to make it 26. All right, and that's how you find the missing side using the law of signs.